hello there cancer welcome into sage scented healing tarot thank you so much for being here and i do hope you are doing well in this time may all of your dreams be realized by you so we're going to take a look at some messages from your new love coming into your life just some quick messages these are going to be general love messages for the sign of cancer sun moon rising and venus so welcome in cancerian bring your energy in here hit the like button share the messages with those you love and do subscribe to the channel your support is greatly appreciated all right so please do continue to like the video share the messages and to subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so much love so new love oh there's a change oh my god there is a change in your world it is beautiful hmm i don't feel like you realize this yet as if you haven't fully realized this change yet mm -hmm. it's almost like it is happening but you don't you don't even see that it's happening or that is it has happened for some of you it will happen this love now for some people this is money some of you that are single and not really focused on love and not just and not money but this is your well-being you know i like to talk about your feelings of well-being internally this is that connection the ace of pentacles vibration cancer is like the north star energy you found and i hear compass but you have found your spirit your essence what makes you move your calling it's pulling from your soul this is an innate sense of value self-worth that no one can give to you or take from you yes we did see the three of pentacles card earlier when i was shuffling the three of pentacles in my vibration is sun okay so i feel like your store your soul has been restored your stored your soul has been restored or you were awakened or maybe for some of you this is your soul made twin flame vibration that is now awakened because this card says, I feel well, new vision, twin flame, newness, new brand new good feelings coming into you. It's like, you know, it's that energy of finally knowing who you are. Maybe you're studying your star, your star sign, astrology, you're getting to know yourself and it's giving you clarity. You know what I mean? Is the, I'm getting the energy of you looking to the star and just feel it to the sky and feeling a connection with a particular star and, and feeling it pull from your soul. Like you know you found this connection and you're smiling. It's like an happy, a, a happy ending to a movie or something. You know what I mean? This fulfillment. Yeah, that's what we have with the Ace of Pentacles vibration. I'm feeling love is coming into your life and all these beautiful feelings of well being. So we have the Ten of Pentacles as well. So this is new feelings of hope, restoration, prosperity, success for you, Cancer. You know why? Because you decided to look ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like the, you, you have decided to leave a village behind that has been dismantled. You know what I mean? I feel like you're the only one that has survived your entire... Oh my God, I don't want to say this. But I'm look, I'm feeling the energy of the Five of Cups. Like you are... You, Cancer. You. The, the card says you. You are the, the only one. I'm getting... All right, let me just tell you. I'm getting the energy of a person standing in front of a village that has just been destroyed. And this person is the only one that is left. Uh, so-called alive you know this uh, as what we know we don't know if there are other survivors at this point but you are the one that is standing in the front in front of this village knowing that you lost your family and so on and so forth they were in the village as well but there's a certain strength that comes over you and you, it's like your survival kicks in you know you have more to do you know so you're not gonna just stay around and cry and ball the place down no I feel you, it's almost like a sudden strength and power comes over you. You know you have to walk away from this village. There's no reason to stay here. So this is love. This is past connections. This is childhood traumas. This is all that you've been experiencing as a result of the way you grew up, what you knew, what you were taught. 
you're deciding to leave all of that alone. Some of you may have physically lost your home, <clears throat> but you're going to somewhere so much more beautiful. The energy of you walking away from this village, I'm getting the energy of an ancestor here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting my ancestor, your ancestor. It's like it's going to tell me the story of how you walked away from this village to go create another village. Listen, as if you're just going to go across the river. Well, you're going to go through it. Let me tell you. But you are, you're like none of them are runes. <clears throat> That's the vibration you are, you are embodying. Well, well, kind of. When it comes to standing alone and creating a village, like one of those warrior women... It didn't start out that way for you, but you had to become that. You had to survive on your own. You had to put things together because of what you left behind. Or because of what was be behind you that wasn't serving you and you had to walk away from that. <coughs> so you walked away from that. I feel not alone, spiritually guided. Oh my God, this was supposed to be a love reading. Oh my God, me and my brain. But just, it's almost like, so you know, there's a fresh, there's fresher water ahead of you. Oh my God. But is there something about the strength that you embody in moving on from what is in the past to go ahead of you? That's why I had to keep talking about it. You know, it's like, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you, you have, you're not talking much. You're kind of humble. Your heart is full. There's something about you keeping your heart to yourself right now. Maybe you're single and you're not dating. You're not sharing your heart. Really, even in your thoughts a lot. Maybe you're walking away from something and reconnecting with another. Something about the world energy that we see here. I hear a, trans a transformation in your world. So who has control over that? Because this feels like someone else is telling me. Like the, the controllers of the game are telling me that there's a change in your world. You know what I mean? So maybe you don't know, but the ones above are sharing with me that there's a change in your world. You know what I mean? Like someone, someone shifted the game. So just, just so you know, I don't know exactly how that is going to affect you. And not sure if this is something that you did particularly, but it can be the act of you walking away from these connections. It's almost like someone saw you as if the people playing the game. You know, like, yeah, the people playing the game, they somehow had pity on you. Or they felt your pain or felt your loss because what you went through was a lot or is currently going through. The, all the things you lost, but you're taking it so powerfully. They have to want, they want to reward you or help you forward. So they're going to change something, but it's like if you see it, as if they're going to put something in the game, and I'm talking about in your life, in this game called life. I'm just telling you how I'm feeling it. Right? With my glasses on, but most of y'all don't get the picture unless the flash is on. We're talking about conception, inception. Yeah, that, you see what I mean? That's why that song came. That Lisa Wayne song, Six Foot, Seven Foot. It talks about the inception. You know the movie Inception with Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio, where you can go into someone else's dream and plant ideas and so on and so forth and place things in the other person's world. Oh my goodness. So it's like someone is telling me that there's about to be a shift or a change in your world, but you are to look for it. And it's almost like, I want to tell you it is something that's going to make you happy with the Ten of Cups behind it here and the Wheel of Fortune. But it's more of how you deal with it. You know? Yeah, it's more of how you take it. You could be traveling. It could be, a, a, it could be, could be traveling across the water because I literally just got the energy of a boat. Mind you, Lady Caprio is in Titanic. <laughs> But I got the energy of a boat. And you know, this is traveling with the Wheel of Fortune vibration. So it's almost like you're going to get the opportunity, but you're to see it and take it. And then you will be on the road to it. So the toughest part in this is if you will actually rec recognize this, that sent for you, accept it. Yeah. All right. So let's see. 
because you know why it's challenging for you cancerian because you're holding out your emotions right now you know <laughs> it's like you're in a mode where listen i don't got time for this especially when it comes to the opposite sex you know so maybe this offer is going to come from the opposite sex you know you know maybe you will think it is a romantic offer but it's business maybe it could lead to love because let me tell you this is supposed to be a love reading i don't know where i'm going, <laughs> supposed to be telling you about love here but it's as i said it feels like finding yourself maybe this message is supposed to send you on a journey you know beautiful yeah yeah there's something about you like your soul cancer it's not just that you went through loss it's more of it's more than that it's more powerful you know it's the energy of someone being recruited i feel like you could be you could get be getting recruited by someone watching you the law navy <laughs> The beach, something having to do with water, though, are your pearls, your gifts, your emotions, your 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 psychic abilities, possibly your ability to see. I feel like you can. All right, we're not going to get into that. We're going to move forward. Right? There's healing coming for you. Follow your heart. Trust your journey. There's love. There's a lot of I like. I feel a lot of adventure. I can't lie, you know, a lot of adventure. It's going to kind of listen. I feel a lot of laughter, happiness. You're going to be doing things you've been you've done before, you know. It's almost like you're going to be doing like jumping out of planes and bungee jumping and all these things. And I do, I like a lot of laughing and smiling, meeting new people, having friends, if you don't. I feel like that for you. So like these people are watching you for what? Are they trying to connect with you, but you need to follow your heart. And you need to follow, they're trying to connect with you and you need to follow your heart. Something about listening to the, listening to your emotions in a cool way. It's like a cool river water. I'm just, I'm really getting the energy of water here. Maybe go to the beach, go to the water. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, listen to your intuition. And if the message resonates with you, then take that. Okay. But I just feel like a brand new journey, man. So that you're going to walk away and, 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 and life is just changing. You're going to walk away from the past, jump on a boat and go to a brand new place. A brand new place. It's like this is how the store ends for you. But it's not ending, it's just beginning. Get what I mean? It seems like it's ending, but it's like that the untold of what is to come. It's a big adventure. <laughs> There's something that's going to make you happy. Really happy. Creating a happy life. Yeah, see? Because I'm talking about a lot of laughter. You could be traveling a lot. You could be aligning with someone in work. A business connection. Any messages about love, romantic love, connections. I feel like it's telling me that this is what you're leaving behind. The idea, certain ideas of love and what you want. It's almost like you're deciding. It's like you just broke up with someone and you you decide to go to Paris. You know, when you watch those movies. Oh, you, you cheated. I'm going to go to, I got, and all of a sudden you get this letter in the mail to go to Paris. And off you go. And it's like, to know, to know a brand new life. And we can only dream or imagine of all the wonderful things that are about to unfold for you here. Because of, especially because we do, we, we have the contrast, all the terrible things that you went through. We know you're going to get the rewards, the payoff. It's going to be big. Like your book is going to be selling. 
booking tickets i don't know it's that energy of a beautiful ending to a story where you get rewarded especially for being for being you oh my god for being who you are the sun card comes out again for being you and for being you and for being strong for holding it together you lead with your heart you are a special one your and it's like you are there's something strong in your blood like your ancestors want you to be healthy they want to preserve you that's the word or is the energy of that last one that you want to it's like they want to carry you across the waves there's something about waves and water you know the energy of when um going to a massive party and they uh someone they bring someone on the cro the wave of the crowd that's how your ancestors are carrying you and i'm getting lush water and lush greenery like tropical vibration <sighs> a lot of water vibration in this like something someone coming home Right, so I feel like they want to preserve you because you're so strong in the spirit. You know what I mean? It's like you haven't fully been tainted. Uh-huh. You, 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 you. The child. You're like a child, a spirit child. The one to the, the one. I don't want to blow your bubble up. You know what I mean? But all these beautiful things. So keep going. Keep being strong, following in your heart space. There's a beautiful change coming for you. Maybe when I said the upper the game controllers want to do something beautiful for you, it could be your ancestors that I'm talking about. And I hear the word magnify or change, transform. Alright, cancers, these are beautiful message. Like I say, don't see romance, but I do see maybe you connecting with your spiritual family, going out, having fun, laughing a lot, drinking some pina colada or whatever it is but something with a little bit of rum because you have a vibe i'm telling you <laughs> i'm sorry you don't need the rum you don't you can you can have a virgin pina colada anywho there's also a possibility of marriage you could be just you could literally be moving toward the person you're going to be married to i can walking directly into this wedding and you are getting married <laughs> Oh my god and this is love and this is gonna come after a while i think you're this is gonna come after a time it's kind of, it's beautiful to see and to feel in you cancer you're going to trust and your your burdens are laid down your heart is relaxed is more at ease you're smiling you have confidence and trust you're breathing deeply, more deeply, because I feel like your body is more open. Your shoulders feel less, way less burdened. So I feel like you're surrendering to this person and you just want to be in their arms and they're going to just love you. So this is your message, Cancer, and much love until next time. I'll see you. Thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video. Share the messages with those you love and subscribe to the channel. Much love. All is within you.